How are we all going? I haven't gone to sleep yet. Got sick of all the same things happening. Yeah, she didn't put me to sleep. <laughs> right, uh, I'll try not to. I'm just going to go over some history of personal history and then I'll address the questions. I am Edward Nipper Brown. You would have seen the cornflakes that says Nipper Brown. On the voting slip, I have to put Edward. That's my real name. So they've changed the law, so I have to do that. I grew up in Gelatin, did my high school in Mariba, left school at age 15, went working on cattle stations across the Gulf, and at the age of 20 became the head stockman. Then decided to change professions, joined Telstra in the early years, went to Townsville. After approximately six or seven years, I got the yearning to return home back to Gelatin. I returned home and in 1992 got married. Two weeks later, we moved to Thursday Island. Two years later, we moved to Hewenden. Three years later, we moved to Charters Tower. So you can see I've taken her to all the really good places. <laughs> when the opportunity came to return home in Mariba, to Mariba with our children in 2000, we did. I wanted to bring our kids back to Mariba and raise them where I'd raised. I love this shot. After three years, I decided to apply for a redundancy, succeeded and was made redundant. Then in Matilda, I began running my own business, which began as a contractor back to Telstra. Then added playing music at functions, but done some earth moving, and then in 2007, tended for and won a contract with the Mariba Council at the landfill. That was the beginning of working in waste over the years up until 2012. I was successful in other tenders and went from one landfill to currently having two and six transfer stations, the Spear Y1. I am in charge of that. All that happened before I became a councillor, except for Chiligo and Almaden. Currently, if there's an agenda that involves anything with the transfer stations and the landfills, I declare a conflict of interest and I leave the room. That will continue. I have a contract to fill out. Once the contract runs its course, who knows what will happen. Why do I want to be mayor? From day one, I said that I wanted to be here long term and one day I would run for mayor. As the Mayor, you get more opportunities to have conversations with authorities, government bodies, leaders of industry, people that can have the conversation with the next level or open the next door to achieve what we want to achieve as a Shire. <clears throat> I am a firm believer of, even if it is not our core business and it affects my residents <coughs> and the community, then it reflects the negative towards our Shire. So it is my business. Therefore, it is the whole council's business. Areas such as youth crime, and I know there's some issues in Coranda mm. at the moment, and we need to deal with that. We need to be at the tables for anything outside the core business, like health, water security, and main roads. I do have a passion for the Shire and all its communities. I have proven this over the six years on council. I have been in council since day one of the amalgamation. Why a team? The benefit to rate players is you get a group of individual voices with a common view and a vision. We are not a party. They don't have to do what I tell them, and trust me, they don't. I've tried. <laughs> the benefit to us is greater. We can support one another and share resources, bounce ideas off one another. So that's why we're running out the team. Why am I the best person for the job? Six years experience on council. I can remember vividly the first two years and the decisions we had to make to put us in the position we are now. 15 years running my own business as we grew. Not frightening to look outside the box for opportunities. 20 years in the corporate world, the latter in the management role, so I know how to deal with bureaucrats. I will promise that as a mayor, I will continue our current path and continually look at opportunities to help all communities. Right, I, I want to address the, the questions. The first question, I'm actually a little bit worried, I'm sorry, I, I share Anne's view. The immediate future uh, for Coranda, economically and socially, I'm worried. With all this coronavirus and the numbers are not coming, I've been down here over the last seven or eight weeks regularly, walk the streets, and it worries me. It really does worry me. We as council, we can do some stuff, and that will come about um, once we get in there. And, and by that I mean our, our tourism marketing is wrong. I think we lost sight that we should be marketing for the drive market We've got TDNQ and all those that market for the overseas. We should be marketing for like Townsville people to come up here and stay around Coranda. Now, to get them to stay around Coranda, we need to have Airbnbs. That's the eco-friendly, environmentally friendly accommodation that we can have here. So I believe we should get rid of the Airbnb levy. That's currently thing. But get rid of it immediately. Get people to have more Airbnbs, encourage people to come up here and stay, stay longer. Um, the role in Coranda, look, 
These are the gateway to Rao Shire. These are highly important to the role of Mariba Shire. Um, our communication, we need to improve our communication. As council, we have been called, and I've promised several times, I will be down here one day a fortnight. I will set up a shop in Karindi. You can come and have a chat to me. My, I'm an open book. We will have community barbecues here. We've had one here a long time ago, probably the first year of this term, where the councillors will come down and we'll have a forum like this, and you can ask us the questions. I'm open. Look, I'm running for mayor. Hopefully you'll vote for me. Very passionate about Coranda, love Coranda, and I've I, yeah, got lots of ideas. Thank you.